you're looking to add a VST plugin, so an audio VST plugin within Premiere, there are two main ways of doing it. Now, I'm not going to go into any detail around kind of submixes and sort of pushing certain amounts of that effect back into the mix or anything like that. I'm just going to talk about the two main ways to do it. Firstly, you can do it at clip level, so you can just uh, go into your list of effects here and you have your video effects, your transitions, all that type of thing. And in audio effects, if everything's been picked up correctly, you should see your VST plugins listed in there. In this case, I'm going to add in a brick wall limiter because I want to sort of uh, slightly kind of, well, it's almost like normalizing my clip in a way, but it's a little bit more dynamic than that and a little bit more sort of um, uh, flexible. Uh, and once I've put it on, it will be in my effects section here. So it just gets listed down together with all your other effects and, and applied in order, just like a video effect would. So click on edit and you can then change the settings in there. However, that's not usually my preferred way of doing it because if I'm adjusting vocal on the track, I'm gonna say, right, I'm gonna only have this vocal from this mic at this time in this track. So I'm gonna dedicate, essentially dedicate track one to that particular vocal track and as such I can do my VST from the mixer instead so if I go to my mixer now you see that at the top here we have a list a section I'm going to zoom in fairly close here so you can see what I'm doing uh, we've got a, a sl load of slots that can be dedicate dedicated to um, VST plugins so if I click on the down arrow we get given a list just as we did previously and it's just a kind of different way of going to it, really. So here I can find my brick wall limiter again, apply it to there. So that's now on this, this uh, track. It's always going to exist on track one. And I can edit the effects there by clicking, uh, by right clicking on it. And that will whiz off the screen. So you have to then right click and go to edit. Now you won't be able to see where the edit is because it's off my capture window. But if I click on edit, then I get the same VST plugin box up exactly as I did before. The benefit of this is, of course, that uh, it doesn't need to be applied to multiple clips. So if I'm kind of working on this and I cut this clip or I've got or I've got another few clips that I want to add to it, I'm going to have this same brick wall limiter applied to all of these tracks. Now, whether that's right for you depends on what you're doing, but they are the two main ways to add VST plugins within Premiere Pro.